Hi, and welcome to another episode of Virtual Health Club. I am your host and founder of NatMed Coach, Dr. Millie Lytle, and at Virtual Health Club and NatMed Coach. We promote self-care radically for the purpose of preventing and treating chronic disease. And one aspect of doing radical self-care is to detox the body. So to help your body facilitate, if you are here tuning in and you don't understand the purpose of detox, definitely check back to my video, the three stages of detox. I go through the benefits and the necessity of detoxing and you'll learn a lot about what's going on in the body on that talk. And since you have uh, either purchased this series or have um, become part of it through Health Club, then you have access to all of those videos instantaneously, pre-recorded content, which was recorded for the June detox. Everything applies except for potentially some of the fresh fruits and vegetables, which are, you know, in season, depending on when you're listening to this. So otherwise, the spring and the fall are a great time to detox, but do keep in mind that the body detoxes every day and every day you're looking to support your own detoxification powers. And that's your liver, your kidney, your lungs, your skin, your lymph and blood circulation. Those are all the amunctories by which your body detoxifies. And of course, through the bladder and the um, colon is how we excrete the majority of our toxins as well as through the skin as sweat and through the breath as carbon, di carbon dioxide and other waste products. So today what I'm going to cover are level one and level two of the detox. So back in June when we first detoxed we presented level one. Level one is a slower detox. It's still substantial, deep, it's, it's prime for the first time detoxer or somebody who detoxes once a year, it's great. And what level one includes is five phases. So I call it the five phase nutritional detox. The first six days is the basic brown rice diet. The brown rice diet is the core detox diet. Now, if you don't eat brown rice, if you don't eat grains, you modify it, you can either eat quinoa or millet pseudo grains or uh, if you don't eat those you can do it paleo so you can do it either with fermented soy products like tempeh and tofu or you can do it with animal products and vegetables that would be the paleo detox do keep in mind meat products animal products are not really detoxifying they are actually what we are trying to loosen up let go of consume less of especially if we normally consume a lot of uh, meat products, animal products, but, and we're definitely letting go of dairy during the detox, but depending on your food restrictions and what you do, it's your detox. It's always um, unique to you and it's always tailored to your best lifestyle. So what I do recommend is that you do something different on detox. So if you're already doing something like all you eat is brown rice and vegetables, maybe you want to switch it up because that's not going to give you as deep a detox as maybe you're looking for. Or if all you eat is meat and vegetables, maybe do something a little bit different this time. Although this is the session whereby you're going to decide what the best level for you is. So... Um, so you do six days of basically brown rice diet, which is brown rice vegetables. We have delicious recipes posted um, in our detox platform. We have sauces for you to try and condiments, how to inc incorporate 10 veggies per day in your diet. Um, it can be a really fun and delicious week of eating and if you want to know more about it, I recommend you check out those videos and then also come to our weekly live detox sessions, which we'll be holding through the journey. So next is Detox in a Box. It's a Nutrimetric seven-day NutriClean cleansing program. It has three supplements in there, which I'll go through later to help you clean out those amunctories that I was talking about, full body detox of the gallbladder, kidney, and liver, 
and colon and then yes the release tablets for the colon to make sure that you're having adequate bowel movements when you change your diet it's possible that your bowel movements will change for very many reasons you might be eliminating milk and so therefore you're not sent to the bathroom in the same way or you're eliminating coffee and you're not sent to the bathroom in the same way or perhaps um, all this new fiber is showing you that your body is a little on the constipated side your peristalsis is low and so you need an assistant aid also, if you're fasting, you need an aid like a laxative um, tea or the release tablets from the seven day Nutri Clean Cleansing Program to move your bowels because you won't have any solid food in your system. So it all makes sense. It's important to use the release tabs enough as you need to, but don't overdo it. You don't want to have diarrhea through your detox or very loose stool, but you do definitely need to be releasing every day if not more than once a day. Ideally, it's every time you eat, so two to three times a day. Lastly in that is a gut healing product. So there's fiber and prebiotics as well as probiotics and glutamine, which helps to heal the cells of the large intestine or small intestine so that you are uh, absorbing your nutrients better, healing your gut lining, closing those gap junctions, rebuilding your microvilli and your microbiome, stabilizing your immune system. And so those are the three components of the seven day NutriClean cleansing program. And we do that at the same time as we do the six day basic brown rice diet or modified paleo detox. So then after we're done with those six, seven days, we start the mono diet. Mono means one, we, we recorded a video on this. So you can go back and make sure you watch the video on mono dieting. But basically it means one. So you eat one food or one food group per day for three days. I recommend choosing a different food each day. So for instance, you could eat like apples all day or you could eat cauliflower all day or you could eat leafy greens all day. So I like to mix up leafy greens and eat them with a combination of raw and cooked. And I do not think that's cheating. That is really what works for me. So if I'll do spinach and chard and kale and, uh, and lettuce and some of it I'll eat raw and some of it I'll cook. And then you can also add condiments like olive oil, cayenne, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, uh, sea salt, and that's basically it. Um, and so it makes for a delicious day. And if you wanted to do, to do an additional gallbladder flush, then We've also got um, that video in the mono diet video, and so you could learn how to do that. And next, after those three days, so we're basically getting you know uh, fewer foods in our system, giving our body a bigger break. Then we're going to do three days of the master cleanser, and the master cleanser is called the lemonade diet. So definitely watch the video on the master cleanser, how to make your recipe when to take it, when to drink it, the health benefits of it. Also included in that is the salt flush, which is like giving yourself an internal enema. It's amazing. It's part of the master cleanser. And so the three days of the master cleanser, you basically just drink this special lemonade that we, that we drink. And you make that and you drink it all day long. You can drink it hot. You can drink it room temperature. You can drink it chilled if you like to on ice. And then you can also drink herbal teas and some broths throughout that time. And that's pretty much it, your laxative tea. And then you want to come off the detox healthfully. So then we go through, there's a video of how to come off the detox uh, healthfully. It's starting to introduce solids eventually. It starts off liquid with fresh juice. And then you start to increase your cooked vegetables day two. Um, and you can start, then you can start eating normally or with raw vegetables on day three, depending on how fast you want to do this. Some people do three days coming off the detox, but I wanted to keep this within like a two week period. So it's two days. And that is level one. And it's fun and it's step by step. And um, if it's your first time detoxing, then welcome to the world of detox because it offers a lot of unique benefits and surprises. You definitely want to go through the video on uh, side effects, the, the benefits and also what to be aware of when you detox um, because there definitely can be some symptoms that you experience and those symptoms are generally 
not severe and they pass and they're part of the detox process because when toxins are getting kicked up in our body and released, we do have symptoms as a result of it. it can be energy symptoms or even a flu-like symptom or it could be skin rash or it could be um, any exacerbation of, an, of a symptom you already have could feel a little bit worse before it gets better. This is kind of part of the healing crisis. Not that we want you to have a healing crisis, but it's inevitable in some instances, especially if you have a lot of toxic buildup and this is your first time detoxing. So that's level one. And I recommend level one to most first time detoxers. It's slow enough so that you're not detoxing very quickly. You're still eating solid food for the majority of it. Again, you can always tailor it to your own um, unique needs and there's lots of uh, alterations and um, alternatives that you can use. And if for any reason, then you are finding yourself in this detox, you've purchased this detox and you don't know what to do, then definitely reach out, especially if we're not running the detox at the time that you're watching it. But otherwise, if you're following along the detox with us, then there's an opportunity to join our live sessions and come on and get coached. And otherwise, if you really need something extra one-on-one, -on -one, then you can always book an appointment with a health coach to take you through the detox. All right, so that brings us to level two. So level two is a bit faster. There's less solid food. And this is more for the intermediate or even the, I wouldn't say the master detoxer, the, the experienced detoxer, but definitely the intermediate detoxer. It is primarily liquid based and there's a variety of liquids that one can choose from when they're doing a liquid detox. However, what I've chosen for this detox is to call it 10 day juice cleansing. So juice can mean a couple of things also. So let's go through it. I would say that this detox has four phases. So I recommend easing into it with three days of basic brown rice or quinoa diet or the paleo diet, just like we spoke of before. Do it three days. So during this time, you'd cut out all your stimulants and you'd clean up your diet, no more processed food. You'd start eating regularly. Uh, you take some, you know, you'd start doing the seven day NutraClean cleansing program with the three supplements, start increasing your bowel movements and increasing your detoxification. Um, I don't, don't generally recommend this if you're a first time detoxer because you might have too many symptoms um, going so quickly, but if you've detoxed before or if you've been eating clean always, um, so it, basically if your diet is generally brown rice and, and vegetables and or you just eat very clean raw diet for instance, then you might consider this for the first time because um, essentially you've probably already let go of toxins if you ever switched your diet radically or drastically or um, if you've been eating clean for a very long time. Um, if you've been eating organic, if you've been eating fresh prepared from scratch, gluten-free, dairy-free, um, some version of extreme clean eating. Uh, if you're just vegan and you're eating vegan cheeses and you're eating vegan meats, I wouldn't consider that clean eating. And so don't consider just because you're vegetarian or vegan that you're actually eating healthy or that you're eating clean. So uh, just you want to check in with your diet, how many, it's essentially it comes down to how many fresh fruits and vegetables you're eating of the organic variety. That is what really lowers your chemical burden. And so if you find yourself that you've already eaten clean, then by all means, try the level two. So you do the three days basic brown rice quinoa diet or paleo if it's modified, and then you do the seven day NutriClean cleansing program. Of course, three days in, you'll switch over to the 10 days of juice cleanse. So juice cleanse can include fresh juices. And in the video on the 10 day juice cleanse, I will go into my favorite, simplest fresh juices, uh, those fresh recipes. So in order to do it, with fresh juice, you need to either subscribe to a juice bar subscription so that you're getting a juice detox or that you're going out to a juice detox, a uh, juice bar to get your daily juices. And you will need about six, 
juices per day in order to um, you know, be able to have enough energy to go through your detox properly, like 10 days of not eating solid foods. So do keep that in mind. Um, if, and so if you neither have a juicer nor have an organic juice bar close to you, um, or nor a fresh juice delivery option, then I recommend you do the Master Cleanser. The Master Cleanser is still fresh juice, given that it's fresh lemonade, uh, but you do put maple syrup into it, a dark um, amber colored maple syrup, and um, cayenne pepper. So those are the basic ingredients of the Master Cleanser. So you can also drink teas during this time. And there is such a thing as a soup detox. Um, this could be a variety of foods. This could be chilled soups, meaning like juiced soups or blended soups or smoothies, if you will. Um, but normally this would be a cooked soup detox, so ideal for the fall, more likely than the spring. But you could also do it in the winter. It would be a great detox to do in the winter. It would be a soup detox if it was hot. You'd be wanting to make those um, soups at home from vegetables and maybe fruits as well. Um, you could also make a soup out of some of the other um, ingredients from a basic brown rice diet. You could put rice in a soup if you were do doing the basic brown rice stage. But if you were doing the juice cleanse stage, I wouldn't recommend putting grains in your soup. So it would just really be vegetables if you were doing a soup detox similar to a juice cleanse. And that would give you a lot of variety. Um, so, but these are basically the liquids that you'd be having on a liquid fast. Now there's also a water fast, which I am not promoting. Um, it's too hard to regulate across different people who might just be participating in this cleanse. who don't have necessarily um, a proper health assessment. And the 10 day juice cleanse might not be ideal for diabetics. It might not be ideal for people who have heart issues or who are on a pacemaker or who are on a potassium sparing diuretics. So for those people, I would not necessarily re recommend the 10 day juice cleanse. It's just too hard on the metabolism. It will change things too abruptly. I'm not saying that these foods are bad for you. They might be excellent for you. They in fact might be what you need in order to heal your body. It's just that you need more one-on-one -on -one input. Um, in order to decide if you are going to do a level two detox, for instance. I do think the, the level one would be great. And again, if you want to consult on this, then you might need a session with a health coach or even with a doctor from NatMed Coach. But certainly you want to get it pa run past your own doctor. Always a good idea. Your doctor will de definitely tell you uh, what they think if you are healthy enough in order to change your diet radically on the spot. So um, then after the 10 day juice cleanse is over, and so again, we'll be drinking like six, if not nine or 12 glasses of juice or master cleanser per day. And this would be like a 500 ml. So, um, you know, like a two cups at a time, it could be, um, so 16 ounces. And so we're definitely talking a significant amount of juice. So you either have to have those organic vegetables at your disposal with a, a at your uh, fingertips with a juicer, or you'd have to have an organic, uh, underlying organic juice bar near you that either provides a juice detox service, and then you can run through the program while consuming that juice, and um, get your additional support, or you'd wanna be doing a master cleanser with us, which is like the easiest way to, to do a juice cleanse, given that you don't need very many tools and you don't need the load of fresh vegetables like carrots and apples and ginger and beets and greens, cucumbers, et cetera, that you would need on the fresh juice cleanse. Um, do keep in mind that a fresh juice cleanse is very nutrient dense. Uh, it does provide the opportunity for a lot of variety. So if you're somebody who needs a lot of variety in your diet, then a fresh juice cleanse with all those different types of vegetables, different flavors might be great for you. Whereas master cleanser, you're basically drinking the same thing over and over all day long and for 10 days. And so do keep in mind that level of, of um, palate uh, personalization for you, like judge 
your, for yourself if you think you could do that. We definitely want to set you up for success. We want to set you up for uh, what you'll be able to do. And then I'll just finish this off. You come off the, the, um, the juice cleanse healthfully, two days, introducing solid food. Initially, it's juice. And then you start introducing gradually soups and with cooked vegetables and then uh, raw or solid foods, depending on what type of, of cleanse you did. So I hope this helps you determine what your gut instinct is telling you and not just your gut instinct, but all the knowledge that you have about your own personal health, your own personal habits currently, what would both help you, what would be a step up, and then also uh, what feels doable. It needs to be doable. We want to set you up for success. And remember, there's always another detox. So I recommend to be conservative with your, with your aspirations for detox because you're more likely to succeed if, you, if you're confident that you can do it. Whereas if you're good at stretching yourself and challenging yourself and you're good with kind of playing around with your diet, then by all means, let's do level two. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, lastly, this is the, these are the, this is the uh, NutriClean Detox seven-day cleansing system. It contains the following three products and plus a paper flyer that tells you, um, you know, what not to eat during your detox. So it kind of just has a clean eating flyer. So anybody can take this detox for a week, even if you're not going through the whole two-week detox. But it contains hepatocleanse, which are herbal capsules to clean the liver, gallbladder, kidneys, full body, body cleanse. It has things like turmeric and ginger, and milk thistle and dandelion and um, also has N-acetylcysteine, which creates glutathione in the system. It's an amazing product. And then there's release tablets. They're actually capsules, not tablets. They cleanse the gastrointestinal tract, enhance the peristalsis, the, the wave of the colon so that you, you know, poop easier and better. And they have turkey rhubarb and aloe and, um, cascara sagrada, and a bit of senna. So it is um, quite a powerful release agent, laxative agent. It's gentle though. It's a gentle herbal cleanser, and um, but there's no fiber in it. So it's just um, herbs that make you uh, go, make your colon move. And then like a, like a, kinet a kinetic, a kinet it moves your bowels. And then there's a fiber powder, which also is a gut healing powder. So provides, as I mentioned, prebiotic, probiotic, fiber, as well as L-glutamine, which heals the lining of the intestine and also makes way so that your gut is producing good bacteria and feeding on all the beneficial foods that you're eating during this detox. So that you'll come away with a, a highly enhanced microbiome at the end of the two-week program, which is a side benefit. Uh, you know, it can, it can stimulate you to kind of lose a few pounds because it gets your metabolism moving. But the purpose of the detox is not just to lose weight. I mean, we want to change your metabolism if you have weight loss as a goal. Um, but if you're just losing water weight or stool, then that will gradually come back. So you have to keep up your nutrition changes in order for this whole detox to lead to permanent weight loss, which is if you're what, you, what you're looking for, then we want to help you get there. Um, we do also have other programs. So we have a 30-day jumpstart program. If you want to also lose weight uh, further at the end, which includes personal training, as well as a protein powder and muscle building supplements, um, a diet plan for stability, not just for the detox period. So there's more that you can do after the detox is over. So I hope this has helped you. Um, decide what you want to do in terms of the detox. Thanks so much for tuning in to this level one, level two detox kickoff. I hope that you've learned all about what detox to choose and that you are uh, feeling confident and comfortable about entering this new phase of your life possibly, but definitely detoxing here with us at NatMed Coach and Virtual Health Club. I'm your host, Dr. Millie Lytle. See you again soon.